Hi, I'm fitness expert Curtis McGee. I've been featured on ESPN, Sports Illustrated, Bright House Television, uh, Spectrum Television, just to name a few. I'm also a fitness model and actor. Now, what I want to talk to you guys today is I love conditioning. Conditioning is a part of my life, and I'm going to show you today on pickleball tips how you can take fitness and carry that over onto your pickleball game. Today, I want to talk to you about speed, footwork, agility, and power. Let's talk about speed on the pickleball court. Speed, sometimes we're blessed with speed, sometimes we're not blessed with speed, but it's important, all those areas we can improve on. There's a thing called wasted motion, and what I'm gonna do is help you increase your speed and decrease the wasted motion that's used on the court there. Before you step on the court, there's some things that you can do to work on your speed and your footwork. The first one, will be a straddle, coming down, open it up. Open those hips up, come down, and drop. And back, 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 footwork, up and back. Quick feet, quick feet. Use the arms, the arms generate speed. Up and back, take them back, up and back, up and back. Footwork, footwork, karaoke, turn those hips. Open up those hips, and back. Open up the hips. Those exercises there will increase your speed and improve your game. Okay, what we lack in speed, we can make up in agility. Agility is our ability to work from side to side, to go forward and back, so lineal and work lateral and increase those things. I'm gonna show you some exercises that will help you improve that. While you're on the court too, you wanna to work on your agility because that'll compensate for your speed. Here's an exercise I enjoy doing. Touch the net, open the hips, open, open, open. Back, up, 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 dink, back. Up, dink, dink, there you go. Okay, speed equals strength, which equals power. So if we can use our speed to our ability, we'll be able to generate a lot more power. A lot of times we lose a lot of power because the ball gets too close or we don't, we're not using our momentum, our speed to take it through. Speed will generate power. Sure shot, you come up. That's a wrap, guys. Today we talked about speed, agility, and power. Hopefully you found these exercises very useful and something that you can use to improve your game. If you found these videos useful, hit the subscribe button and look forward to the next videos coming out. Thank you.